Hello, I'm Pat Tice, WA0TDA, and this is just a short video to give you an update about a new way to operate the RemoteHams.com stations, this time with a Chromebook computer. Today I have a Lenovo laptop. This is a netbook computer, and uh, this, uh, this laptop is a nice one. I just got it about two weeks ago. This is the end of July 2019, and this is a current model laptop. Uh, it does have a full keyboard here. It's not a complete uh, large size keyboard, but it's great for a netbook. It has your touchpad there, and this happens to be a touch screen as well. Now, let me come around this way so we don't get reflections in the screen quite so much from the window and I'm going to get behind the camera here and show you now that I do have the Echolink app up on this Chromebook. I've got Echo Test, and I can connect to that. So this is a touch screen as well. Echolink Test Server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. Okay, transmit. This is a test. WA0TDA testing. This is a test. WA0TDA testing. Okay, let's get out of that app. Yes, I do want to exit. And let's go and take a look at the RC4 BAP. So I'm liking this touch screen here. Kind of hard to hold this and do the video at the same time. Here's the RC4 client that I've already purchased for my Android phone. And I've been using it on Android for quite a, a number of years now. $10 for the app in the Google Play Store made for Android devices. But it's only just recently that these Chromebooks, like this Lenovo, uh, will run Android apps. So this one does run Android apps. It's a new one that replaced an old Asus Chromebook that did not run Android apps. So I found this to be a very useful addition. Uh, okay, let's connect to... There we are on 14.3 megahertz. This is the uh, Maritime Service Net on 20 meters, and I'm hearing signals on that. And this is the this is what the app looks like on a Chromebook. Uh, with the touch screen, it's kind of handy. I can use the tuning knob. I can go to the numpad, bring that up, I direct enter frequencies. One zero dot enter and there I am at WWV so this app actually has all of the features that I might expect from using the Android app on my phone let me disconnect here and then let's take a look at the station list again I can just scroll through all the stations from around the world and they're available to me. I can take this along when I go to a hotel or if I want to go out on the patio and operate my station or one of the other remote stations. This is available to me and this is really a nice thing because I've already purchased the app and uh, according to the licensing of the app I can use this uh, already purchased $10 app on as many devices as I want under my own call sign. So it's a great app. I do recommend it. Go to remotehams.com to find out more information about this remoting system. And if you're interested in using the WA0TDA IC7200 here in the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, you can get in touch with me at my call sign, WA0TDA, that's Whiskey Alpha Zero Tango Delta Alpha, at ARRL.net. 
one of the things that uh, we do require is that you have a USA general class license at least to operate this station and uh, regretfully we can't accept uh, international DX stations even under the SEPT agreement according to the current interpretation of FCC rules. So USA license, general class or above, give me a shout at wa0tda at awrl.net and feel free to ask uh, any questions you want about the uh, remote hams dot software. Maybe I can help you out. Stay on the air if you have to go to uh, a, a smaller uh, condo or if you have to uh, downsize, you can't have a big antenna system. This may actually work out for you. Uh, this is a good way to stay on the air even if you can't have a large antenna system and many of these stations on this worldwide list are available to you. Most of them you can tune around and listen even if you can't transmit. You do have to ask the station owner for transmit privileges and uh, depending on the law and uh, regulations where they are they will be able to, to grant, uh, grant you that. Uh, there are also club stations available. Your club may want to consider putting a station like this on the air for club members who are maybe snowbirds in the winter or that uh, they have downsized and they can't afford uh, or can't possibly put up antennas for one reason or another. This is a great way to stay on HF. Thanks for listening and give me a shout. WA0TDA at ARRL.net. Whiskey Alpha Zero Tango Delta Alpha. 73.